Hi guys, it's me Parker. Welcome to my channel. I am doing love readings uh, for Venus transit. We had Venus sitting in Gemini for quite a long time. Um, typically Venus only sits in one sign for like a month, maybe two. Um, so it's been a very drawn out transit. Venus is like our sacred feminine energy. Um, it's love, sensuality, um, you know, uh, creation, like all those properties that lend themselves to our feminine nature. Um, and it's, it's finally moving, um, into cancer. So obviously Gemini's are going to be, uh, pretty heavily affected by this. Um, Aquarians are pretty heavily affected at this time as well, because we did just have a full moon in your sign a few days ago. Um, at the transit out of Venus, the full moon was on the 3rd, and then the transit out of Venus for Venus uh, was today on the 7th. Um, so, yeah, um, <clears throat> uh, major uh, shift in energy, because it's been sitting in that for a long time. So, of course, Gemini's, Sagis are going to feel that a lot on that axis, as well as Cancer Capricorns, and Aquarians are being heavily affected at this time as well. And... I want to see Libra as well, um, you know, all of you guys are really heavily impacted at this time, so you're last but definitely not least, um, because Venus is your ruler, um, and there's been a lot of, uh, Libra energy coming out in, in, um, in all the readings, so I know you guys are heavily affected as well, especially with it being your ruler and finally moving, so I would recommend checking your Venus placement for these readings, but, with that being said, and with any reading, uh, Spirit gets the message to you however it can, or I can be picking up on energy that you're connected to through someone else's sign, someone around you, uh, maybe you're harnessing that energy at that time. So if you ever see a title that looks like what you're going through, or you're drawn to a reading, or even the thumbnail, go ahead and click on it, um, because, you know, it, um, it, um, you know, we can harness a lot, like, all these energies um, through our houses and our placements and our chart and the people around us, right? Uh, so, yeah, check for your Venus, but, you know, uh, if you're watching for your sun sign and it resonates, then cool. If it doesn't resonate, then there's just, you don't need guidance at this time or the message is not for you, so don't try and make it be what it isn't. Um, so with all that being said, this is Page of Swords. That's been coming out a lot. Um... Uh, yeah, general reading. So again, if it's not your story, um, I'm reading for elementals, so it's even more general than the weeklies. Um, so we'll see what comes out. Um, see what comes out with my air signs. But yeah, Gemini in particular, uh, Empress, Libra energy, uh, Venusian, Venus, hi Venus. Um, Gemini especially, though, is really impacted because it's been sitting in your sign for so long, and that actually coincided with the North Node switching into your sign as well, um, which happened around the time that Venus moved into Gemini. Um, so we've been having a lot of Gemini energy, um, and we will be in that North Node energy for about a year and a half, and that's just like the kind of collective purpose, um you know, the kind of flavor of the collective for the next little bit. Um, obviously, we have transits within that that effect. I keep seeing these. Um, definitely, <laughs> that's speaking to children. Uh, the Empress is pregnant. The Page of Cups can be children. Um, so, yeah, there's definitely a pregnancy thing for some of you guys. That could just be giving birth to new ideas as well with that Page of Cups. Talk about new ideas that is new ideas. <laughs> that is like the card of new ideas. <laughs> Ace of Swords, air energy uh, right off the bat. <clears throat> it is clarity. It can be communication. I'm just hearing new ideas. Um, that is really speaking to that Venus uh, in Gemini energy because the um, Gemini is a very uh, flirtatious uh, sign. It's very social. Um, it is the sign of new ideas, and Venus was harboring that when she was in Gemini. Uh, so a lot of new ideas are going to start coming into fruition now, um, especially with all the fire energy that we've got going on. 
Um, ooh, dropping down from the two, Moon and Libra energy. Very interesting. So we've got... Uh, if this is either a stalemate, I really see this as dropping down from the two, which can be like it, uh, in two minds about something. So it can often manifest as a stalemate because you're frozen in your um, your mental space here. Um, two swords, between two swords there. I'm seeing this as dropping down from the one. And then that's when someone moves or puts their ideas into action or communicates something usually to someone else. Or that can just be clarity that, um, you know, coming from this uh, Two of Swords state, all swords so far, although there's only two cards here. Um, okay, air signs. Venus transit for air signs. Whoa, okay, I'll take those, but that's too many. Uh, Nine of Wands, persevering. Wow. Okay. Um, this is a walking away energy here. Um, I'm feeling a mutual rejection here with this, this two fours here. So it might've been very mutual, especially with that temperance, uh, major for Sagittarius. So some of you guys are dealing with Sag. Um, this is spirit though, like balancing out a situation. And again, I'm just getting a very mutual energy off this. Um, the four of cups, which is, you know, the half of the eight. Um, it can be like rejection, uh, can be missing an opportunity as well, or just dissatisfaction in a, dis in a situation, or not seeing what's right in front of you, so we'll clarify that. Um, with that eight, though, the eight is walking away, um, especially if you are, if there's two people that are dissatisfied in the situation, there, you know, I'm just seeing a very mutual splitting here, um, but temperance is there, balancing, so we'll see why that's coming out. Temperance is nice, though. It can be like having spirit around you, healing energy, patience. It's very nice. Anything else for air signs? Just one or two more, please. Just one or two more. The only major here is temperance, which is nice. Woo, okay. I was seeing that. Um an offer. I don't think it's active. Um, there's Leo energy underneath that. Very indicative of children um, because there's that page again and look going to the 10, the, the eight of cups. Cups is our emotional fulfillment and stability. Uh, the eight goes to the 10 and this knave is definitely moving towards it. Um, and this can be family so I'm getting quite a bit of family vibe. There's like children in that one too, Leo energy. So this could be transpiring over Leo season uh, with this Venus transit. Um, but there's kids in that one too. And this is happy family life. Um, we had a very single, stable, independent, abundant. This is just screaming abundance, personal abundance. This is very abundant energy. It's like it's like the highest level of uh, secure, like uh, stability that one can attain on their own without other, without any assistance or collaboration with others. And this is like ships coming in, like abundance. And I'm kind of seeing that as this temperance energy, because like I said, it can be spirit, right? Uh, facilitating something happening here. And there's movement with this eight of cups. Someone's moving and they might be moving in. So this might all be happening um to someone that you don't even know yet and they're they're um moving with this temperance aiding bringing you guys together and this is like the card of like ships coming in like abundance coming in looking to new horizons um and sitting in very stable energy manifesting it's a manifestation energy and then we have the lovers uh, gemini energy there's more of that uh leo energy uh jupiter and leo specifically um this can indicate a very divine soul connection. And this is victory. Um, victory. And I'm seeing there's a chair of like a child there too, watching these people fall in love. Um, very interesting. Okay. Um, so let's look at Temperance and the Eight of Cups. Why the Eight of Cups, Emperor? Oof, that's very controlling energy that just showed there. Being out in the cold. Chariot victory. 
Six of Wands, very victorious energy. Nine of Cups, beautiful. Eight to the nine. Uh, why the Eight of Cups, please? My air signs for this Venus transit. Whoa, eight. Nine of Cups, <laughs> yeah, okay. Going to the nine. So there's definitely, Spirit is helping facilitate um, this moving to the 10 with someone here with this abundant manifestation energy and this very single person. Uh, I don't have a clarifier for this, so this could be you or the other person. This could be you sitting in this energy, just manifest in a way, uh, you know, and this person's coming towards you and Spirit's helping make that happen. Uh, Nine of Cups, this is, again, I'm just seeing it as that... <laughs> Temperance, spirits like seriously bringing this together for you guys. Wow. There's that page of cups again. Focus, very focused on it. Spirit might be, I'm hearing spirits very focused on this right now. Um, this is communication, big time. Uh, this communication and movement. And then this is communication, uh, more page energy. And then there's temperance facilitating this. It's beautiful. Um, with that nine of cups, the eight is, the eight is like, yeah, okay, there's eight cups, it's a lot of cups, but it's not the ten. It's not the progress, it's not the combination, it's not the ultimate fulfillment. Still a lot of cups, but, you know, with that dissatisfaction energy I was picking up on, it's just not quite it, right? Um, so then moving into the nine, a spirit's there in the background too. Spirit's in the background, helping this bring this together, right? Um, so, okay, very nice, very beautiful, very abundant. Yeah, and I mean, card of abundance, card of stability, card of clarity, this can be a stalemate, but it's not an overly aggressive energy. Wish fulfillment, moving towards your wish fulfillment, spirit helping facilitate that happen, victory, love connection, it's, very, it's looking very good, it's looking very good, you guys. If you're dealing with the Sagittarius, maybe watch the Sagittarian energy because they were moving into energy like this as well. Um, the one that I posted most recently. Uh, the Nine of Cups. Carry it. Victory, 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 victory. This can be commitment as well um, with that, um, <clears throat> that communication. And there is this uh, Ace of Pentacles and there's a lot of family vibrations coming out here. Um, this is Cancer energy, so speaking to Venus and Cancer, or just Cancer energy in general, you could be dealing with a Cancer. If you have Cancer in your chart, this could be referring to uh, the plays on energy that are happening. We just came out of Cancer season. Um, Mercury just came out of Cancer. Venus is entering Cancer. Um, we had those Cancer eclipses, so there is a lot of Cancerian energy on the go right now. But that's victory. Ooh, Three of Swords and the Devil being bound. To sadness and pain here. Hmm. This is Eight of Cups. I'm not taking those. Um, some of you guys are dealing with an earth sign. I shuffled the shit out of this deck, like, <laughs> and there's very similar energy that was coming out in the earth sign reading. Queen of Swords, yeah, some of you are dealing with an earth sign. That's funny. In that message, uh, there was, um, Gemini, there was somebody who, um, who was moving out of, like, a hermit state movement, um, and they were very bound, much like that devil energy that just showed. Um, what's the chariot? Whoa. The star, yeah, feeling very connected. This is a different deck. Now, uh, I just switched it because I was just wanted to make sure. I do clear the energy, but I was like, that looks just like the reading I just did. And this is kind of looking like the reading I just did, too. Um, but I don't know necessarily that they're connected. Um, this is the major, uh, the star, the nine of cups is the minor to that. This is a lot that came out. Ugh. There is a Knight of Wands, so some of you guys are definitely dealing with the Sagittarius. There's that Two of Swords again, being in a stalemate energy. This can be a lot of partying, too. Just saying, woof. Okay, air signs, please. There's that Ten of Cups, 8, 9, 10. 
Wow. 8, 9, 10. 8, 9, 10. Moving into complete and emotional stability and victory and commitment. With that chariot and the six of wands, it's like winning the war. Um, if this is resonating, I mean, it's just started, so, you know, I don't even have people here. This could all just be energy moving and spirit could all just be setting this into place for you guys with that manifestation energy there. Um, <clears throat> Because I don't really have much in the way of people. I mean, this does indicate a person sitting in stable energy. So we'll see what comes out to clarify that. Um, but yeah, this is like very... Oof. Clarity. Clarity, clarity. Communication. There is a magician underneath that. Manifestation. Big time. Big time manifestation with this energy, you guys. And it kind of is... If you are dealing with an earth sign... Um, Maybe watch that reading because I am like from different decks now um, seeing the same cards that were kind of coming out. Uh, these two featured very heavily in that reading as well as this one. Um, we have temperance underneath that so it could definitely be connected for sure. Um, okay, let's look at uh, the star energy with the ten of cups. Very nice. Justice. Ooh. Ooh. And they had a lot of progression in the cups and other things as well. So I'm kind of feeling like that this might be connected and that's what's coming in because that person was really going through a hermit process to find their star. Wow. <sighs> There's a lot of victory and manifestation in a Ten of Cups situation here. Uh, anything else for this? Star, chariot, energy. Mm. Remember how I was saying there was a, there's a queen of fire, so definitely could be dealing with Sagittarius, just very confident um, in the feminine. A lot of sad showing. Uh, triumphing over, so things not turning out the way you'd hoped, and not seeing the positive in a situation. The star can be hope. Um, with that eight of cups, this is what's being moved away from here. Um, because like I said, this is a card of walking away from dissatisfaction. Um, and then we have this four of earth, which is a very held back energy. Um, I think I said it earlier, but I saw this four of pentacles with the emperor. And the emperor can be very controlling. And this can be a very controlling energy being held back, being very, very um, selective with what you're giving to here. Um, hang, can be hanging on as well, can be hanging on with this loss energy here, it can be hanging on to hope, that was in the other reading I just did as well, um, with that star energy and that earth, um, or that, uh, nine of cups, but yeah, this is like really being held back and sadness and loss or not seeing the positive in something, um, yeah, I would definitely watch that reading, especially if you're watching this for your sun sign and then you find out that you have an Earth Venus placement. <laughs> um, because, yeah, um, in that one, there was something about spirit bringing in an opportunity for them and they weren't seeing it. They were perceiving it as trickery, but it was like spirit is like really talking to them and trying to get them to hear them on this um the powers that be uh let's get one more card for this five of cups and four of earth why the four of earth oh that's too many stability okay loss of stability maybe temporarily um moving out of this uh eight of cups energy <laughs> Talks about moving. There's the chariot. Wow. Here's the empress. Okay. <sighs> Planning energy. Ooh. This can be sabotage. Um, maybe somebody was really holding back, holding out here in this connection. Um, and that led to this walking away and they really sabotaged their wish fulfillment here and it led to loss. Um, there's a king of cups underneath that. The three of cups that can be drinking too with that nine of cups remember how i said that can be like partying so just watch that definitely watch that um 
Um, there's a, yeah, this is just kind of screaming sabotage of a wish fulfillment here. So this could have been past energy. You could have been moving towards the 10 with this person and maybe somebody um, didn't see it for what it was or or was being really stingy with their emotions or they were like really holding on to like their old ways of partying and stuff because this uh this king of cups he, he can be quite the lush and like he's got like his cheeks are all red like he's been drinking too much wine he looks like he's drunk and this is like celebration could have been three people involved and it sabotaged this connection for sure um yeah um, I'm just seeing this as sabotage. It's not great energy. Usually it can be planning. This could be because remember how I was saying spirit is planning this like big time. Like this could be spirit planning this coming in together. Especially with this energy, right? So we'll see. Um, we do have major communication of uh, the chariot coming out to confirm that's the Cancerian energy. Some of you are definitely dealing with cancer. Have that in your chart. Especially if you have Venus in cancer. You're going to feel this big time because that's what the sign is, you know, moving into and it's been delayed. So I'm seeing Venus Cancer for some of you here, especially because this came out and this is Cancer. Like this is just screaming Venus and Cancer. It's the Empress. Again, pregnancy could be playing a factor. Communication. Rushing in. He's very fast on that horse to communicate. And this is like rushing in on a horse too. Um, I do get a nod sometimes to Gemini in this. This is Gemini energy. Uh, so we do have quite a bit of Gemini coming out here. Um, I do get a nod sometimes to Gemini um, with this uh, card specifically because of the, the two horses, like the twins. So some of you could be a Cancer Cusper, a Gemini Cancer Cusper, or have Cancer Venus um, because this did come out together. Or you could have Cancer Gemini as well, but these are majors. Okay. So moving into abundance though, so maybe if somebody really was hanging on to, you know, ways of partying or, um, you know, they, they were just, this can be like really smug energy too. So they just weren't seeing, they were discontent. They weren't seeing what something was, or, you know, they were just in that really controlled energy. Um, uh, Sometimes I get downloads when I'm talking and I, I don't get it out quick enough and then it goes and I can't get it back, so whatever. Um, all right, let's look at the Two of Swords. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. I didn't say it fast enough. Two of Swords, please. Whoa. Oof. The sun. There's a lot of the sun energy, which is like a happy outcome. It's like happy family. It's the sun. It's warmth. Wow. There's definitely an empress here. Definitely an empress. I mean, it, this is a reading for Venus, so it could just be talking about Venus. And that is Leo energy, so this is transpiring during Leo season. There is a king of pentacles, the king of wands on the bottom. There's a, you know, an offer here, that pentacle I was seeing before. So fire signs. Ooh, page of wands, ace of wands. There's that temperance again. So major communication about a beginning here. We did see that with this ace of swords. Uh, communication. Uh, but someone's in their head about it quite a bit with this loss, this hanging back and hanging on control, 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 control. Um, but that's, I love that the Empress is coming out. It's like the most abundant, it's Venus, you know, it's <laughs> somebody's definitely wanting to come out of the cold here, um, step into this very warm, abundant manifestation type energy. Um, cup in motion, I am seeing it as that Knight of Swords, uh, Gemini energy that flew out with that Cancerian Chariot energy, um, coming through as a knight wanting to move out of the cold here, and that's the Two of Swords, right, so this is this person's headspace, you or the other person, man or woman, doesn't matter, just the energy that they're in right now, um, on one side of the fence, on one sword, um, and I feel this, like, dipping into... Like back and forth, remember with that control energy and then maybe slipping back into smug or overindulgent ways. Um, but it's feeding into this like lost tower energy here, which just breaks up the energy because it, it's too back. It's wishy-washy. Um, this is very wishy-washy energy back and forth. So this is this is showing us where this person's mental space is at 
in one mind, in one side of the mind. And this could be you if you're a Gemini because Geminis do go Jekyll Hyde. They go back and forth in their polarity and their twinship. In one, on one side, this person is wanting to be the Knight of Cups and move forward and offer emotion. Um, and let go with that four of pentacles, very held back energy, keeping control. This is them letting go of control, surrendering, and feeling resistance off this person. Especially with temperance here, trying to facilitate this and working hard on this. And this person is kind of not having it. Or they're just really getting trapped in ego because they're, you know, with this loss energy, they're, they're back and forth in their mind between opening up emotionally or like you know they're either perceiving that as like a threat to their stability or um being rejected possibly um but this is where they're switching back and forth from in their mind like they want to move forward with this cup and communication and offer love but then they slip back into this out in the cold um energy it's very like I'm about to do this, I'm about to do it, and then slipping back into this, possibly because of parting or being very smug or um, too controlling, too controlling. Um, so let's look at the Ace of Swords, because they're obviously picking one of these. Um, so let's look at the Ace of Swords. Two of Cups coming together in a lot of connection. Ace of Swords, please. Dropping down from the two. My air signs for Venus transit, please. Oof, just saw the Queen of Wands again. That was underlying. I'm seeing it as this Empress, very sexy. There's that Six of Wands again. Abundance, victory.